Vortex. I'm debating on whether or not I'm gonna go see that new Barbie movie. And the reason why I'm debating is because the last movie that I saw was The Joker. And The Joker really pissed off people on the left. Because uh, white men are not allowed to be victims in their idea of social hierarchy. White men are not included. So they got really mad that there was an independent film that conservatives watched and enjoyed. Because conservatives don't watch independent films. So Ben Shapiro is very upset about this woke movie. Like that they're saying it's real woke. So I, I'm I'm really tempted to watch it because it pisses off these annoying ass Republicans that are really boring and lame. So I feel like if I just watched it under the lens of satire, it would be so brilliant. So I'm probably gonna go see it. Mainly because it's been so long since I've seen a movie. And I like watching stuff that pisses people off and having my own separate take on it. Like when I watched The Joker, I couldn't believe that people were making such a big deal out of it. Yay, nay, or gay. I was like, it's ridiculous that people take something so seriously. But you know, this is America and it's not as if they'll ever take child rape seriously. So they have to take movies and television and crap country songs seriously because they don't know what else to do. Thank you for the turn signal, we appreciate it. Um, did I just spend like over a hundred dollars at the grocery store? Every single time I think I'm gonna spend like thirty dollars. And I spent over a hundred. I just really hope I eat all this shit. That, that's, that's the thing. If I don't eat, then it's a waste. But yeah, I don't let other people dictate how I'm supposed to feel about something, you know? And it's really disturbing to me how many people that claim that they love this country because it's free are like allowing everybody but themselves to make up their mind. You know, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's like, why don't you just kill yourself if you're just gonna let other people live for you or live through you or whatever, you know? Have you noticed that my solution is more times than not, just kill yourself? Well, the reason why I suggest suicide is because that's that's not something that anybody suggests. I mean, not literally. They're not gonna say those words, but that's really what they mean. <laughs> so you better agree with me. If you don't agree with me, I'm gonna make you look really stupid and I'm gonna invalidate your life experience by shitting on your opinion, you know? Like, personally, I don't understand why, why people let others get them down like that, but they do. It's because of that damn FOMO, I'm telling you. FOMO is a killer.
I wonder if I'm like anti-FOMO. I don't like being anti-anything, even though I think that you guys know what we love and hate. <laughs> I think we've made that pretty clear. But I just think it's stupid to be afraid of missing out, you know? You should be part of the things that you want to be a part of. And not worry about shit else. But I guess that's, that's hard to... That's hard to live up to, you know, when, when most people... It's like everything that we do revolves around FOMO, you know? That's the fear of missing out, in case you didn't know what that acronym is. I figure that most people speak in acronyms, but I'm actually mistaken about that. That's a Gen Z thing. Yeah, it is. It is. All the Zoomers know, know the acronyms. But, uh... Yeah. I'm most definitely going to see that movie by myself. I love watching movies by myself. I love eating by myself. I love taking on long walks by myself. Sleeping by myself. I was gonna say sexing, but we try not to do that. I used to be the type of person that would just like randomly masturbate. Like it was a compulsion for me. And so because of that, I try to avoid it because like I know that it could very easily turn into that again. But at the same time, I'm not gonna beat myself up all because like I felt that urge and I gave into it because I'm a human being. I'm not just some fucking robot automaton. But asexual doesn't mean that you never think about sex. It just means that that desire is so small compared to other desires. And it's, re it's really just not worth giving into it. Like, even if I could have the most amazing sex in the world with, with somebody that I, like, legit loved and cared about and wanted to be with, um... I mean, it's like, I don't even think of that as a possibility. It just, it just seems like this far off, distant thing. Which I know isn't true. You know, there, there are plenty of men that are attracted to me for whatever fucking reason. Um, but like, it doesn't matter how physically attracted I could be to somebody, I would still have to be like, into it, you know? And I'm just not. Like, I don't know if, if that's because I'm getting older or, you know, my schizophrenia or whatever the fuck. It's, it's just not the slightest bit interested in, in that sort of connection, you know? Because for me, like, I don't see the point in doing something like that unless I felt really, really connected to the person. It's like, why would I want to be that close to somebody? Why would I want to let somebody literally inside my body if I didn't feel connected to them? And if you really, really think about it, and you know that we, we most definitely do, it's just so crazy that people just do that so nonchalantly. If you put it that way, you're literally going inside of somebody. But... We can analyze that further, but let's not. 